What's up? I just realized the camera should be faced another way. Uh, yeah, it's fine where it's at. What's up? It's Dress, aka DJ Anti Zero, and uh, this thing is like not want to work. I figured I'd throw the glasses on for the, the intro. Let you know I'm a little serious. These are fake. I got like two fake ones on me. <laughs> Don't know which one you like better. Point. Oh, you know. The man Kevin Samuel was real quick changing glasses, you know, fixing them up and da 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 da. Just kidding. Um, but all fairness and all seriousness, I'm actually in the process of organizing my room. Um, and I got some information. Now, this is nothing like dying member, family, etc. And I probably titled this video something but I, I don't know yeah i have like a couple of times in my head everything's like off the dome uh and i'm hopefully not gonna make this too long of a video however you know this is something that uh i want to get out to you guys just because one this is a bit more of a stress level situation or like all right i'm de-stressing myself i'm jamming out a little bit i'm analyzing what i've uh been thinking about for the last couple of days I've listened to the full audio book of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, which I highly recommend. I highly recommend reading that book, whether you're into business, not into business, employer, employer, and um, don't have to, you don't have to look at, uh, you don't have to look at it from a, oh, I must make money in this way in order to achieve X, Y, and Z things. You mentions it uh, very strongly in the book that if you're not that type of a risk person, don't follow this route, but follow this route instead. And it's not like a specific, specific route, but a kind of a broad sense of route to follow. Read the book from beginning to end. It's very worth it. And you can say, you know, my body language it feels a little nervous and fidgety. And I'm not sensitive. <laughs> uh, that's because um, this is like, how do I really relay this message properly with a sense of humor on top of it? Um, the way I'm looking at this situation, which I'm about to explain in a second, is, you know, one, this is the first time this ever had happened to me. Two, I'm glad I was somewhat prepared for it. Three, I was already in the process of transferring in my mind. For this gives me the perfect opportunity to venture out into other avenues that will actually aid me into what I want to do in life. Um, cause it's funny, cause I was in my head, I'm like, you know, I gotta, I gotta do something different. I gotta add on to this. I gotta do whatever I need to do to strengthen myself for the years to come. So in a general sense, I'm not going to disclose the business. I'm not going to disclose a lot of information, but I will disclose enough to get you a general sense of what is going on uh, currently as of today, December 9th. Uh, I'm recording this around 3 o'clock, and I'm going to go pick up my check around 5. I did not quit. <laughs> did not quit. I did not quit. And I technically did not get fired. What happened was... Uh, I guess there were sparks and rumors of potential um, allegations towards the owner of the establishment. Now, was I aware of this prior to any degree, format, or, or somewhat? No, I was not aware of it. Uh, the only thing I can say I'm close enough to aware of is that every establishment that's like this tends to have some type of situation i must say uh whether it's true or not i do not know like there was one uh event i went to and i was just a photographer for the event and i guess the guy it was a security guy like the guy that was securing the place was like yo can you take a, a picture of me and my girl and can you send them to me and then like he slaps me up and i'm like this slap up feels kind of funny right now but you know i guess he was like yo it's for you man i'm like i looked at it and it was a small bag i'm like the fuck i get powder for <laughs> and i was like oh right bet <laughs> 
yeah, no, nah, this ain't, he's like, yo, if you want more, man, you know, just send them through. I'm like, yikes. <laughs> yikes. Uh, you gonna miss me with that one. Um, I ended up throwing it out um, after leaving the establishment and whatnot. But I did send them the pictures. I actually sent the pictures out to, I forget whom exactly it was. Uh, I don't know if it was a person that hired me. Yeah, it was it was a person that hired me for the, that night. We sent him the pictures. Uh, so if he got him, he got him. He didn't, he didn't. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I've especially me DJing too. I've seen and been around shady business or things that at least look shady business or I've at least experienced things where in my uh, suburban <laughs> Uh, growing up, childhood phase, whatever you want to call it, never really witnessed the potential danger unless it was within TV shows and movies. So I actually experiencing it now, I'm like, oh, this is what they go through. Not like in a happy way, but just like, oh, really about this life. I'm like, and because I'm aware that, you know, these are actual things that can happen in real life, I'm a bit more cautious of how I step forward and proceed with certain deals and businesses, etc. And one thing that stuck out, shout out to Maul and Rory Podcast. Not saying, you know, this came from them, but just watching their podcast. What I learned is we're in 2020 during this time, during that time when I heard it, 2021, 2019, etc. And there shouldn't be a thing as shitty deals at this point. It's now just considered shitty people. And I'm just like, you know. I do like that because who says both sides can't win? And learning from um, Jordan P. Peterson and Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, why not trust people first instead of trying to trust them last? And that's how you get shit on. Then you have expectations. And when you have expectations, then you're unhappy. Then you want to go through all these different type of emotions, blah, 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 blah. Derailing off track. So, uh, situation that happened. Um, I got the Facebook invite. I will say that much. Uh, I read it. I threw it in the Discord without disclosing the title of this place and anybody's actual names. Uh, long story short, kind of came up to my decision. Backtrack to, you know, I was just kind of seeing what, what people do in that case. I'm not trying to mimic or copy. I'm just trying to make uh, an informative decision based on my circumstances in a very limited amount of time that I'm giving myself. And I'm like, all right, bet. This is the opportunity that I was knocking on in my mind for the last few weeks. I need a way to sit here and say, I need to do more. I need a way for me to sit here and say, do not get comfortable. I needed me a way to um, make more critical decisions on my money. And what I've learned from, another thing I learned from Rich Dad, Poor Dad is uh, stay in the mindset of how can I obtain more money? And something else I've learned is, and this is something I learned a while ago, this is something I learned years ago. Uh, Learn, oh, this is something I'm actually just saying out loud. It's not that I, I, this is not a quote or anything of that nature, uh, but this is something I cultivated through like analyzing and uh, processing. Learn through, learn the ways of how to be evil, then move good. Don't move, don't, don't, don't learn how to manipulate people and then use manipulation for your own personal gain and only for yourself, by yourself, etc. Like, the way I also looked at it was, this: why can't there be ways of good manipulation? Why can't there be a side uh, for both me and the other person to be happy? Why can't there be such thing as a good karma? Why can't there be happiness in the mindset um, a lot more often? Not saying, you know, every time, but a lot more often than we... Perceive it to be. Why do we put ourselves in these scenarios? Why can't we make ourselves feel good? Um, granted, the real answer is we just don't know how. We don't try to teach ourselves constantly after college. And this is all the things I always preach out to my friends. 
This is why at this point, I'm actually very limited to how many friends I actually hang out with <laughs> because of how I move. But hey, I've been less stressed since I've been down this path. I've been less um, caught up. I'm not going to say caught up, but less involved in potential mishaps with other people. Um, and also, also with scenarios that I don't want to be involved in. Like, I don't want to be involved in, but then there's times where I kind of like, I'm just kind of stuck in this because I already said yes to something and then something else went down at that establishment. And then, yeah. So, learn my ways. 28 years old. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so allegations came up, and right now they actually closed down the place I work. So, I hit my manager, and I was like, So, we closed today? Because according to the according to your higher up, which I mean, I can always contact that person too, but according to your higher up, um, she said, we're closed today. And I was kind of confused. I'm like, because of this scenario, we're closed. And he's like, yeah, we're going to be closed until further notice, AKA until it's run, whenever it's resolved. So none of us is working until it's resolved and if it doesn't get you know resolved and obviously we're just gonna have, gonna have to find our own jobs etc so at this point i'm just like all right all i heard in my head was i'm just laid off or uh, i'm not sure what the proper word word would be i said word word would be uh for the scenario or whatnot um but you know shout out to mtr shout out to um graham stefan is this Stefan? I didn't even really realize his last name. Uh, shout out to Graham. Shout out to Gary. Shout out to a lot of people that put themselves out on YouTube uh, to let men know, people know, etc. You know, have that emergency fund. I'm glad I had that emergency fund. <laughs> um, and it's not like I can't, like, grab another job. Uh, within a few weeks. Like, I have the utmost confidence in myself of me grabbing another job in a few weeks. It's more of the fact of this is kind of an opportunity for myself where it's like, I don't need to get the next job. Now, I don't have a lot in my savings to sit here and say I have that luxury to, you know, not need to get another job. I definitely need to actually most likely look for another job within the next two, three weeks. However, in the back of my head, I kind of had time. And it's either I can take what I have, what I'm doing, triple down on it, or take what I'm doing, double down on it, and then find part-time, whatever, uh, suitable for you know my environment, my needs, etc. Or go into fields that I know I'm going to need the skill set for which is what I plan on doing, or at least mentally in my head, plan on doing. As of right now, I definitely want to uh, take the day, take the second. Um, I need to, I was actually in the process of starting writing down my five-year plan because uh, I didn't know how to go about it. I seen the questions. I see the questions that you know I'm supposed to ask myself, like, oh, what do you see yourself in, in five years? How do you achieve that set things, step-by-step -step goals? Where do you want to see yourself uh, with, et cetera? And then some more detailed versions of how does it look? How does it taste? How how uh, how would your daily routine be? How would you know this perform? How would that be, et cetera? And where do you want that lifestyle to happen within the point of your life? And what are you doing to make that aim for yourself? Those things I all heard. I never, I, I came across, I believe it's called um, betterup.com. I came across that last night and they had a template, but it's not nothing I can really download or whatnot. But they came up with a template and I'm using the template by tonight. Uh, write down the jot stuff. I also realized, and I need another thing in, Rich Dad Poor Dad, um, that I realized is. When he had mentioned, um, spoiler alert for people that haven't read. <laughs> um, when he had mentioned uh, to the woman that 
was the best writer um, or wanted to sell this book to be the best writer. Um, he pointed out that within that book, every single time someone was deemed the best writer or to that degree of nature, it was most likely or it, in or always was associated with bestseller. So he was trying to tell her, become the bestseller or learn how to sell in order to become known as a best writer. You can't just be become the best writer alone. You need to have skills that associate to what you're trying to achieve that allows you to make more money in the future. Her head was being stubborn <laughs> and didn't like salespeople, didn't like marketing, anything of that nature, which one could agree and one could to attest to. Attest to. Is that even the word that I want to look forward to in, in this conversation? Um, no. Nah. Anyway, nonetheless, nonetheless, it's just it's that something like that. I was definitely aware, uh, not aware, but I was like too. And I was like, yo, I don't want to be sales because salespeople don't, they just sell you a product. There's no emotion. There's no this and that and the third. But then when you realize that the salespeople may not have the emotion, may not have the feel for the, the vibe of the whatever their product or the selling like that, but you do. That's the thing that clicked on me as I'm listening to the audio version of the book. You have what the salespeople don't have, which the which is the actual attachment to their craft to the craft that they're selling. Like if I picked up these glasses and said, like, yo, I want to sell these glasses because to me, these glasses are amazing. And, da, 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 da. and you can have one of these two for $19.99. Like, back in your head, some of y'all are going to be like, oh my God, the glasses look cool on you. It might look good on me too. But I'm not the one that made these glasses. I'm not the one that crafted these glasses. I'm not the one that, you know, whatever with these glasses. I ain't. Matter of fact, I'm just the one, I'm just the person, the middleman selling you the product so I can get paid. When you're the creator, when you're the artist, when you're the visionary, when you're the dreamer, etc., you have to have some of those realistic skills to get you a little bit more ahead in life. You can't just post this on social media and expect people to just say, buy. <laughs> Got to figure out how to get you guys to buy, whether it's a good product or not, because this is real plastic and I got this shit for like 15 bucks. They're fake. I can see right through them. They're fake. <laughs> I just use them for looks purposes. Mainly for photography reasons. Or if I want to really look nice in whatever attire, designer, outf designer outfit uh, that I have in my closet that I really wear at this point. But yeah. I make this video to mainly say um, if anybody has been in my shoes, worry about being in my shoes. Um may not be in my shoes but want to take precaution uh looking at my point of life and whatever and saying sitting here thinking you know i might run into this one day how can i overcome it uh the few things i would you know that's advice you don't gotta take it do what you want with it i would definitely say save x amount of money now, however my amount of money may be, some people recommend a couple months. Some people recommend at least a 2000 mark. Save something. Even if it ends up being 100 bucks in saving. 100 bucks in saving could last, I, was, I would say, at least most people, uh, about a week or two weeks in groceries, depending on how you budget yourself. Um, create something on the side that you can do, um, whether it's skills, hobbies, etc., cetera. Uh, it could be trading in or investing. I currently have some investments. Oh my God, it's bourbon. Yeah, I'm not rid of, getting rid of anything. This is a straightforward video. <laughs> not gonna do all that uh, back and forth scenario. And I did plan on making another video uh, prior to this one. I just never released it, and I actually want to add more content to it, uh, which was still back to about the rich dad, poor dad book, audio book. Um, 
nonetheless, that's general sense how much I can give you guys. Definitely find something that aids to what you do. Like for me, outside of the sales, it was definitely um, DJing and photography. I felt like I couldn't afford to pay somebody, so I figured to learn and do it myself. Now, the advice I would give you before I end this video would be, yes, every single thing that you're potentially going to have to deal with, learn at least 5% of it, at the least 5%. Some probably say 10. Some might say 30. I would say at least 5. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not advising you to actually take this advice. I'm just suggesting these things to you guys because at the point of life where I'm at right now, I'm very glad that I at least know some of these things and actually have this mindset to perpetuate myself to other avenues and different things in the future. So, yeah. Um, yeah, for that, we definitely help me out. Even graphic designing to a degree, I'm still learning some ropes. I'm actually about to learn something new within the next few days. Um, outside of that, I'm just telling you, this, it helps. It sucks to learn some of these things because it's not like an interest and you don't really care. But at the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with money. It's only wrong to the mindset of how you want to use money. And where does it benefit you when it comes to people? Kevin Samuels will say it, and a lot of people else, a lot of every other person, people, whatever, will say the same exact thing. We're in a world filled uh, full of people. The game is about people. It's not about money. So when people start thinking the game is about money, chances are you're going to move in a way that, yeah, you may gain a lot of money, but you may not be satisfied with what you're doing with that money which will in turn most likely will make you want either more money or become abusive with the money that you have. And that's really not wrong with the abuse part. I would say more so how you're abusing the money. You could be gambling your life away with that money. Hey, by all means do you. You could be exploiting women for all that cases with that money. Hey, don't do you because I don't fuck with that vibe. <laughs> um, but yeah. I mean, you know, to each his own again. I'm playing around, I'm joking. It's just a bit of humor to relieve from the tension that, you know, of what I'm kind of going through and kind of not going through. So, I know, it's a long guys video. I can see the timer on the bottom of my screen where you guys won't even notice until we click on a video. But that said, thank you guys for tuning in to this discussion, talk of mine. Kind of feel like I should do this more often, especially with um, the things that are going around. Uh, Travis Scott released drop information about the Astro World. I fake want to do a reaction video on that. A couple of reaction videos I want to do um, that I'm looking forward to. Will I do them? I want to plan some stuff out first before I do that. With that being said, though, peace out. <laughs>